Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to update your Nokia 770 to use the OS 2007 Hacker Edition. Um, before you begin, um, there's two files you want to download. One, the most important, is the Nokia Software Updater. Without that, we can't update your Nokia. You can find that by visiting this site here. And just go ahead and read through, make sure you have all the preparation and download and install that software. The next thing you need is, of course, the newer um, file so you can update. You can locate this at this website here. Um, there's two versions of the o the O7 2000, the 2007 OS. Um, there's the older one and the newer one. The newer one still has some kinks in it. Um, they're working on it. So for now, I'd say get the first version there that they have because there's two of them you can choose from. Um, now. Once you download and install that, the first thing I like to do is to plug in your Nokia 770 via the USB port. Now make sure the device is turned off. While it's turned off, let's press the home key and hold it, and press and hold the power. Your Nokia logo is going to come on. Wait till you see the logo. You'll hear a little beep if you're running XP or Windows Vista. And then let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and open up the software. And of course, this is the Nokia software tool, the wonderful welcome. This is basically going to give us some information here about the backup and restore utility. Um, I currently have nothing on the device, so I don't have to worry about it. But if you do, on the device itself, you have to run. So you'd have to cancel and boot up and take care of that and back it up. Now, any data on your memory card will not be erased. Um, that is all saved. Now it tells you here about a 20 minute approximate time. Um, on my computer it takes about t 2 minutes. So if I guess if you have a slower machine you will see that happen. So let's go ahead and hit next. Now it's basically going to prompt you some stuff. We have did most of it. We want to make sure for the device found and you see the Nokia 770. If you have that there, good, let's hit next. Now this is currently going to tell you what um, OS is currently on it and it's going to assume the latest one from Nokia um, so we're going to hit change I have both files but I'm going to choose the earlier version so I open that up and give it a second here there you go once you see this file here um, we can go ahead and hit next and this is when the updates going to happen um, like I said as you can see here I'm about two minutes here um, yours can take longer or shorter depending on what system here um, while we're waiting here some key factors you're gonna get a little bit faster performance by doing the, the 2007 the other thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see the ability to run software applications that the N800, which is the newer version, um, can run can run here. Now I know programs like Skype is having a little bit of problem, but there are other programs you can use that come in great handy. Um, so now from here I'm just going to pause the recording and come back here in a couple seconds here to finish it off. Okay, we're about done here. We're almost done. Okay, once you get to the screen, your Nokia will reboot. Don't be alarmed. But now you are done. Just go ahead and click finish. And congratulations, you're done. Um, I thank you for watching this tutorial. Here is my website. You can go to that website to look at this tutorial, look at future tutorials on the Nokia 770. Thank you for your time.